Some people call designs of these motorcycles retro. Others stick to the classic adjective. But for many riders, these are just the proper bikes with the originally intended looks that never faded in popularity. In today's episodes, we will be returning to the topic of new motorbikes with beautiful exteriors that benefit from time-proven engines and the latest high-grade components. Subscribe to Automotive Territory if you're a fan of anything motorized. Like this video right away and enjoy the ride! BMW R18 Often referred to as the first modern cruiser from BMW, the R18 bike marks the company's re-entry into this motorcycle segment. The bike's styling invokes the memories of the legendary BMW R5, especially when you see the exposed drive shaft, the lines of the rear swing arm, and the front forks encased in sleeves. However, the most noticeable parts of the bike's exterior, which is also the model's most discussed feature, is the all-new Big Boxer engine with 1802cc. This is the biggest BMW Boxer mill since 1930s. It delivers 91 horsepower at 4750 rpm and peaks at 116 pound-feet of torque as low as 3000 rpm. Finally, the new BMW Cruiser does not refuse to have a bit of modern tech, so you should expect the state-of-the-art LED lighting, standard ABS, keyless write, and a tiny digital info screen hidden inside the analog speedometer. Indian FTR Rally If you liked the last year's FTR 1200 scrambler but felt that it was lacking classic Indian styling, take a look at the new FTR Rally model. The bike gets a new titanium grade paint scheme with a matte finish, an Indian emblem on the fuel tank, and of course an aviator-designed brown leather seat. There is a new Cafe Racer-style fly screen, which is likely just a fashion nod rather than an attempt to improve wind protection. The riding position is now more upright, due to the 2 inches higher mounted Pro Taper aluminum handlebar aiding both on- and off-road handling. The all-terrain prowess is highlighted with the new wire spoke wheels and Pirelli Scorpion Rally STR tires. This bike keeps the 123 HP 1.2-liter motor, while the suspension is represented by a non-adjustable 43mm inverted cartridge fork and a shock that is adjustable for spring preloads and rebound damping. Benelli Imperiali 400 Though Benelli still has a number of Leoncino models in its range, their new Imperiali motorcycle arrives as a throwback to the original 1950s design of the Saikan. The bike gets a round headlight, features a teardrop-shaped fuel tank, and rides on mismatched wheels, 19 up front and 18 inches in the rear. Its steel frame has a double cradle design, and it is quite compact but durable at the same time. The suspension system consists of a 41mm front telescopic fork with 4.76 inches of travel, and a rear swing arm with a double shock absorber and a short travel of 2.16 inches. Finally, we should mention that the Imperiali 400 debuts with a new drivetrain at heart. It is a single-cylinder four-stroke mill with air cooling, displacement of 374cc, and the peak output reaching both 21 horsepower and 21 pound-feet of torque. Ural Red Sparrow Built from 1940s around a captured WW2 German machine BMW R71, there have been only a few motorcycles in the industry's history that could match Ural in the levels of simplicity and toughness. Today, this visitor from the past keeps the major engineering solutions from the previous century, specifically the two-wheel drive sidecar form. In other aspects, however, it gets equipped as a premium machine. The one-off Red Sparrow edition, for example, is geared up with Brembo brakes, Zax shocks, Heidenau tires, and custom Northwest grey paint scheme. At its heart sits a 749cc two-cylinder four-stroke boxer with 41 horses and 42 pound-feet. It is worth mentioning that due to the Ural's high price, only 3% of all units manufactured are actually sold on the home market. The rest are exported to North America, Europe, and Australia. Australia. 
Harley-Davidson Softail Standard. Being guided by the search of the riders for simplistic back-to-basics machines that are not overburdened with too many bells and whistles, Harley-Davidson delivered a lean bopper with raw stripped-down style and unlimited customization potential. The Softail is the lowest access point to the legendary Milwaukee H107 V twin engine with 110 pound-feet of torque at just 3000 RPM. The only available color scheme is Vivid Black. It blacks out the engine, but adds highlights with gleaming chrome and polished finishes. As for the customization opportunities, Harley comes up with Performance, Coastal, Day Tripper and Touring packages. The former includes the Screaming Eagle Stage 2 Milwaukee 8 engine upgrade that gives you a significant boost in power, while the latter three mostly improve the comfort attributes of the bike. Before we proceed, make sure to like this video, smash the thumbs up button for the YouTube algorithm and keep the conversation going in the comment section. Thank you and let's proceed! Fantic Caballero 500 Deluxe 2020 is a big year for the Italian Fantic motor. First, the company introduced an all-new lineup of their legendary Caballero scramblers, and now they're adding a new, urban-styled version of the 500 model, which is named Deluxe. This bike brings lots of cosmetic changes, but also does not forgo a chance to improve on the mechanics front. First, you'll be seduced by a classier grey tank finish, a new brown seat, special batching, and a scrambler-style handlebar with an off-road profile. The suspension is represented by gold anodized fork and progressive link setup, boasting long travel of 150mm both front and rear. The engine is a familiar 449cc liquid-cooled single-cylinder from the regular Caballero, but it now features updated engine mapping for sharper power delivery. Paired with a responsive short-gear 6-speed transmission, this 40 horsepower mill is able to offer spirited riding, since the bike weighs just 330 pounds. Indian Roadmaster Dark Horse Jack Daniels Limited Edition This model celebrates the fifth year of partnership between three American brands, Indian, Jack Daniels, and Clockworks, and becomes the sixth member of the Indian Dark Horse family. Limited to 107 units, the bike gets a two-tone whiskey pearl paint scheme and boasts engraved floorboards, oakwood ceramic engine finish and the whiskey maker's branding on the seat and tank. Apart from the cosmetic tweaks, the model arrives with a new Pathfinder adaptive LED headlights, which sense the bike's lean angle and activate individual LED projector beams. Another feature that debuts in the Jack Daniels limited edition is the Klima Command Rogue heated and cooled seat. Next. This Indian packs lots of premium equipment, including an adjustable flared windscreen, a 600W audio system, heated grips, and remote locking saddlebags. As before, the power comes from the company's bespoke air-cooled V-twin engine with 1890 cc displacement and 126 pound-feet of torque. SYM Wolf CR300i Building up on the timeless looks of the classic Wolf range, Sanyang Moto Co. are attempting to redefine the image of their motorcycles from underpowered city commuters to highway-worthy machines. The Wolf CR300i is an attractive gaffer racer with exposed aluminum details, perfectly accentuated bodywork and red-stitched step seat. The bike has a compact body built over a high tensile steel frame. The powerhouse of the SYM is a water-cooled, fuel-injected 300cc single-cylinder that pulls at 19 pound-feet and peaks at 27 horsepower 8000 rpm. The Scaffer Racer has balanced 85 mph top speed and 85 mpg fuel consumption. Plus, it provides strong, controllable braking power thanks to the Bosch ABS and radial four-piston calipers that squeeze 288 and 220 mm discs. Lastly, the CR300i gets a new digital instrumentation panel with the no-nonsense information and a range of trip computer functions. Yanis Motorcycles Griffin 250 This American manufacturer might not be one of the largest names in the industry, but if you seek for pure joy of no-frills motorcycle riding, 
then you must give this company a good long look. Made in Goshen, Indiana, and largely by hand, their Griffin 250 is a lightweight yet durable scrambler specifically designed for everyday escapes, both on and off-road. The handcrafted parts of the bike are the frame, swing arm, fenders, forks, handlebars, exhaust pipe, and even the gas caps. All components are proportionally fitted to create a classic scrambler silhouette with a characteristic high-flat saddle and a narrow tank. The Griffin's powerhouse is an air-cooled 229cc four-stroke single-cylinder rated at just 14 horsepower and the maximum speed of 70 mph. The bike weighs 265 pounds dry. It is suspended by a simple dual progressive front fork and features only the basic instrumentation. CCM Spitfire Blackout To commemorate their appearance in the upcoming Marvel movie starring Scarlett Johansson as Black Widow, CCM are releasing a special trim for the Spitfire series. The bikes on the screen were designed to have rugged looks, but this limited edition was instead polished up to reveal a hand-painted mix of glossy black, grey and subtle red accents. Further improvements over the standard grey models are an adjusted Murzaki suspension, rugged spoked wheels and knobby Midas tires. The upcoming bespoke scramblers will still ride on the steel trellis frame and will be motivated by a 600cc one-cylinder four-stroke with liquid cooling. What do you think about the classic looks of these bikes? Are they artifacts from the past or beautiful examples of timeless designs and engineering solutions? Make sure to check out the first volume of this video by clicking on the icon on the screen. Like this episode, subscribe to Automotive Territory and come back shortly for more informative content. May the torque be with you!